helpful, am I? Actually, you defined what I've been struggling with. I care about Michael. I want him to have a good life. Even if I'm not in it. Well, uh, at this point, Michael will tell anyone who will listen that you're the best thing in his life. Did you love someone when you were Michael's age? If I did, I don't, I don't remember. Which proves my point. No, I was a special circumstance, but I, I definitely remember the first time I fell in love and she changed my life. But you're not together. No. Can I ask why? I don't mean to pry, but I would really like to know. It's kind of ironic. We broke up over Michael. You know about what happened when Michael was a baby. Well, he's told me a little bit. His biological father was a screw-up, I guess. His mom fell in love with Sonny, and Sonny was able to get Michael away from the court of Mains so that he could adopt him. I mean, obviously, you played a really big part in that, but I, I don't know any details. Well, that, that screw-up was my brother. Half-brother, AJ. Is Michael like him at all? No. No, not at all. Well, then, you and your brother aren't very much alike either, because Michael's like you. AJ got uh, Carly pregnant when she was with somebody else. And then when she was ready to have Michael, AJ and the other guy wanted to take Michael away from Carly, so Carly lied and said that I was the dad, and I, uh, I went along with it. And your girlfriend didn't like that? Hence the breakup? Yeah, it's a, it's a little more complicated than that, but I, I lied. And I took my, my brother's son, and losing her was one of the consequences. Why'd you do it? Because I really thought I was, I was saving Michael. I mean, the reason AJ was the way he was was from all this pressure that the Quartermains put on him, and I didn't, I didn't want that for Michael. I didn't want him lying or feeling like he had to please everybody or feeling like he was never good enough, like AJ felt. Well, so why don't you stop Michael from going to ELQ? Because Michael's not a kid anymore. And I, I think he can handle himself. And you know what? He might like ELQ, and he maybe he can be what Edward needs him to be. But if he's not, I have faith in him that he can walk away. The way you talk about your brother, I mean, it sounds like you regret what happened. I regret how it ended. Well, maybe you sending Michael back to Edward is your way of apologizing, you know, of, of showing that you're sorry that you ever took him in the first place. I think I made a really big mistake. Uh, okay. What do you need me to do? No, I don't need you to fix anything. I don't need you to cover anything up. I just, I need a second opinion. Great. What? Obviously, I'm not happy that Michael's going to be spending his summer at ELQ. Yeah, I know. You told me that. So I told that to Michael, too. I just wanted Michael to understand that Edward could be biased and that if family history comes up, that Edward may slant the story and make Edward sound good and me sound bad and that I just don't think that Michael should be working at ELQ. Okay, so far I'm not hearing anything too terrible. And Jack showed up, okay? Right. Jack's heard that Michael was going to be working at ELQ. He offered to put Abby and Michael to work for him. Yeah, but I don't see Michael working for Jackson when he's trying to take Jocelyn. I know, that's what Michael said, and I didn't do anything to stop it. <sighs> so where is the mistake? If Michael went to work for Jax, I mean, the worst thing that could happen is Jax will bring it up in a custody hearing, saying that, you know, he's still a great stepfather, providing employment for his ex-con stepson. That's it. Yeah, but I don't see the judge giving Jax custody just because he hired Michael. So it doesn't matter either way. If Michael works for ELQ, he's around Edward all the time. That's a disaster. It's just a summer job, Carly. Oh it's a couple God. months. That's what Michael keeps saying. It's only a couple months, Mom. It's not a big deal. Michael spending time with Edward is a really big deal. Not to mention, Edward wants to give Michael the world, and that's not good for Michael right now. And you know this. So are you asking me to talk Michael out of it? I can't. Edward is Michael's great-grandfather. It's not up to me or you to decide if Michael works for him. I don't get it. You used to hate the Quartermains. You said yourself that the Quartermains were poison for Michael. Maybe I was wrong.
There was a mix-up a few days ago with uh, clearing out Jake's room, and I have some things left that I just, I don't know what to do with, and so. Uh, so you call me? Yeah, well, I thought that maybe Jason would like something more than a little motorcycle. Okay, yeah, I mean, that's very thoughtful. I'll... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I've put you in a really awkward position. You don't have to be here. Hey, are you okay? I mean, I'll leave if you want me to leave, but maybe I should call somebody over. Do you want me to call Robin? No. No, 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 I don't want anyone to worry. And, and the truth is, is that I've brought this all on myself. What do you, what do you mean? I lied. I lied about Jake. I lied about Jason being the father. And when I finally told the truth, I asked him to keep quiet so I, so I could continue lying. Okay, that's not a big deal. That's a long time ago. We've all gotten past that. No, but I've continued to lie. And now Nicholas doesn't believe me, and I don't blame him. Believe you about what? Nicholas isn't Aiden's father. Lucky he is. This. Thank you. Take a few deep breaths. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do this in front of you. It's okay. I'm concerned about you, though. Does anybody else know that I'm you're just going? having a bad night. Okay, well, maybe you should take some time off. Nicholas doesn't believe me, and I'm trying to convince don't, him that don't, I'm don't, telling don't. the truth for once. Don't do this to yourself, please. I've known since the night Jake got hit, and I didn't tell anybody. It's a miracle that Lucky even believes me. Okay, well, you know what? Sometimes we lie. Lucky's a good guy and everything, and he's lied too. I mean, I've lied flat out. I was just trying to do the right thing for, for Aiden and I know, for Jake. I know, I and... know, and then your lies catch up to you and they sort of blow up in your face. I've been there, I know what it's like. I regret not telling the truth, but I don't know what to do. Nothing. Breathe. Just be silent and still. Nicholas and Lucky will figure it out how they want to react. Don't put pressure on yourself about that. I can see why you and Jason are so compatible. The least judgmental people I've ever oh, met. Come on, we have no room to judge anyone, especially you. Do you believe me? Yeah, I do. And I know Jason will too. I mean, if, if you could go back and change what we did, you know, the lie, saying that I was Michael's father, would you, would you do that? Why are you asking me that question? Okay, uh, what, what, did, what did you learn from it? If you're expecting me to say that I was wrong and, and that I should have never lied to AJ and Michael would have been better off, do not I'm, hold your breath. I'm, I'm, I'm just saying, what did you learn from making choices for Michael? I hate what my son has been through, Jason. And, and yeah, most of it's my fault. But the smartest thing I ever did was run 10 blocks in the rain to your door. I've made plenty of mistakes since, but that night I made the right choice. I'm sure Edward wouldn't agree, but... I'm sure he wouldn't. I'm just so afraid that Michael's gonna hear Edward's side of the story and he's going to spin it and make it sound like that Sonny and I destroyed AJ and that's not what happened. AJ destroyed himself. I don't, I don't know about that. Okay, yeah, all right. Edward and Alan helped. I get that. They kept comparing him to you and wanting him to live up to you and that was never going to happen. But it's a mess in that house, you know that. And why would we want Michael around that family? AJ's gone. Alan's gone. Edward is alone. You know, maybe he, he learned from what he did wrong. What if he didn't? I'm so afraid that, that Michael's gonna go down the same road that AJ went down and that Edward's gonna start comparing Michael to you and then Michael's gonna try and live up to you and wanna be like you and then what if he starts hating himself and what Michael, if he starts comparing himself and Mike, I just don't Michael, want that to happen. Michael, Carly. Michael is not AJ. He's not me. He's himself. And he's got to make his own oh, choices, choices and I live know, his I life. I know, I know. I've heard what? it so many times. And if I didn't love you so much, I'd hit you right now. For what? Because you're wanting me to do the hardest thing in the world for me to do. Nothing. I don't know how to do nothing. Just focus 
on the custody. He focused on John saying, Michael, Michael's gonna be fine. What if he's not? What if he hates me? Uh, you, you might drive him crazy sometimes. But he is never gonna hate you. You better be right about that. So this is kind of uncomfortable, so I would rather just say it and deal with it. Otherwise, I'm going to drive myself crazy trying to figure out how I'm supposed to tell you. Okay. Okay. Um, Elizabeth called me over, which I thought was kind of weird because we're not really what you would call close friends, you know? And I walk in there, and she is upset. And not the kind of upset where you're crying upset. She was more manic. I'm sorry. That must have been tough. Yeah, well, um, there was a, a bunch of Jake's things laying on the floor, and th th there were some clothes and some toys, and she told me, she's like, go ahead, take a bunch of this stuff for Jason, whatever you want, and then, and then all of a sudden she stops me, and she says that she's changed her mind. Well, I think Elizabeth should have Jake's things anyway. Yeah, I think it was just an excuse. Elizabeth wanted to tell me something that she couldn't bring herself to tell you. Yeah? What, what's that? Aiden is Lucky's. N not Nicholas's? Apparently, she had a paternity test done a couple of months ago, and for whatever reason, she didn't say anything, probably because of Jake. But she has told Lucky, and he believes her. He's okay with it. Nicholas, on the other hand, doesn't believe her because he says that she's done this before. Yeah, because she lied about Jake. I know. I feel really bad with, for her. Jason, she's, she's trying to make amends with everyone. I think that's why she brought me over there to get a bunch of his things to bring with you. I, I think she just wants everything to be okay. What did you tell her? I told her to stand still and breathe and not to worry because Nicholas and Lucky will have to figure this out on their own and react however they want to react. And she can't change that. And the harder she tries... She's just going to make things worse for herself. It's pretty smart. Yeah, well, I speak from experience. When we fell apart, I had to find my way back to you. Do you ever wonder why you bother? I mean, we did so much damage to each other. Why didn't you just write me off? Oh, I tried. I did. I wanted to hate you forever. I just knew that I wouldn't. How'd you know that? I don't know. There's just something about you. When I'm with you, I don't have to think about being anyone except myself. That's because you're perfect. Perfect? Except for your cooking. You're perfect. Okay, I want to ask you something, and I want you to give me the first answer that comes to your head. No editing at no. all. No. No what? No. I'm not going to answer that question because whatever I say is going to be wrong. No, no, no. It can't be wrong as long as you say how you feel. See, that's that. those are the worst kind of questions because you say you don't want me to edit, but if I don't say what you want to hear, then your feelings get hurt. Oh, and we're stop. Just... I am not some delicate little flower. <sighs> Sam, I know that I've been busy, and if you want to go away, it's just, it's just <sighs> a really... What? Bad time, bad time. Right yeah, now. I know, it's yeah, always it's... a bad time, but that's not what I'm talking about. Well, then if it's about Spinelli, I Oh, will you let me just ask my question, please? Please. Fine, go ahead. Okay. So, when I called you from the hospital and told you that they were going to give me a pregnancy test, what was your first response? I mean, were you sad? <laughs> or were you or were you worried? What? And just be honest. Well, I thought I 
that would be uh, that would be cool. Cool. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to hear.